The vastly improved efficiency of business for all, greater revenue collection and better management of the state's main revenue collecting agencies are just some of the benefits of the Revenue Authority. The Trinidad and Tobago Revenue Authority Bill 2021 was debated in the House of Representatives today. Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. Minister of Finance Colm Imbert said the inefficiencies of the current system, especially in relation to the Inland Revenue Division, are well documented. Recently, in a report on Trinidad and Tobago, a 2020 report by the Oxford Business Group, they confirmed that the Caribbean Regional Technical Assistance Center has referred to Trinidad and Tobago's current tax administration system as highly inefficient. According to the World Bank, the average time necessary to file three major taxes is around 210 hours per year. He said once established, the authority can result in increased collections over the medium term. Such as for the first year after establishment, 1% of GDP, approximately $1.5 billion in additional revenue, rising to $3.2 billion in additional revenue after the first two to three years. Meanwhile, opposition leader Kamala Pasad Bisesa questioned why additional resources aren't being implemented into the current system. So what are the devices, what are the new methods that you're going to use to create efficiency? Minister speaks about the high technology and a modern blah, 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 shiny, 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 new TTRA. Why don't you give that to the existing BIR and Customs and Excise? Why? If you have identified human resources and staffing as one of the main inefficiencies, what have you done? Mrs. Pasabi Sessa described the Revenue Authority Bill as an unconstitutional fundamental change to governance arrangements. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.